Well, staying healthy, I'll hazard a guess and say we all want to avoid getting sick. And here at the show, we're big fans of elderberry because it's considered one of the best immune boosting fruits by some. So today, we're showing you how to make these immunity elderberry, elderberry honey pops. And the best part, you only need a few ingredients. Here they are. They're so cute. Showing us how to whip these puppies up is our friend, eco friendly lifestyle expert, Danny Sayo. Hi, doll. Hi, that weather forecast was such a bummer. I know, <laughs> right? But Stacey, it is my, not a bummer, but that, that weather forecast was the pits. Let's I, be honest. I felt my immunity already sort of needing a boost from that. <laughs> so <laughs> watching, I was like, I'm going to get sick this weekend. Well, thank you. Um, you won't because you have these, these elderberry pops. Thanks, by the way, you sent over some homemade, and you, you even sent this beautiful display. I mean, Cute, right? <laughs> fantastic. Before we get into the show and tell, why are these things so good for us? Okay, so this is from the new issue of the magazine. And if you think you can't make your own mm -hmm. candy, you totally can. This is just three simple ingredients. It's maple mm -hmm. syrup, it's honey, and it's elderberry syrup. If you can combine those three ingredients together, mm -hmm. you can make your own healthy lollipops. And obviously, Elderberry is fantastic. It's yeah. a great immunity booster. It's something that, you know, has tons of vitamins. It can really make you feel better when you have cold and flu season. But like, if you just don't want to take a shot at that, we don't have something more fun to eat. This is a good alternative, especially for kids. Yes. If you want to give them something that is a tasty treat. Well, that's exactly what I was going to say. These are good to, to hand over to your little ones or big ones. Uh, for those of you watching at home, don't forget to hold your phone up to that QR code. It will send you directly to where you need to get this recipe. And by the way, oh, cute. I'm not, uh, we're, we're very, right? We're really cute <laughs> on the Pix 11 Morning News. We're, we're very, very progressive. Um, but in full disclosure, I have made your recipes from other books yep. before. In fact, my teammates here all got to taste your homemade granola, which I have been wait making for the past two years. Hello. So, guys, so good. the truth is out. Mm -hmm. I didn't come up with that recipe on my own. Well, it was well, Danny's well. Sale. And they want, they want more. So I think you and I should go into business together. Anyway, I say that to say all the stuff that you put in your books and your, your recipes are very user-friendly and healthy, including this guy right here. So take it away, Mr. Thank, Thank you, Marisol. And you know, I'll, I'll consider that business partner idea. You don't sound <laughs> convincing. <laughs> <laughs> it's all, we'll, we'll consider it. But to make this, all you need is half a cup of maple syrup. There's no refined sugar in this, but you still want them to be sweet. And the other ingredient is just honey. Guys, you just have to mix them together. So it's half a cup of this, half a cup of that. I know the recipe right now says add lemon extract. That's optional. Oh, okay. Um, if you want to have like a little bit of bite in it. And then mm -hmm. finally, the last thing you add is just uh, two tablespoons of elderberry syrup. You want to get a really good mm -hmm. quality elderberry syrup. Um, this is the OG from Sambacol. They started in 1991. Um, but look at that rich, beautiful purple color that comes from here. Did you, by the way, did you know that raw elderberries are actually um, semi-poisonous? I was just going to say, I, I did think that raw elderberries were poisonous. So thank you for poisoning us. I'm kidding. Um, That's a joke. I'm glad, joke. You're, I'm glad you're rendering it. I want to I wanna pass these over to OG and Hazel. It looks like the ones we have may have a tiny bit of lemon in it. Oh I don't know. God. They're it's delicious. Really cute. Okay, yeah. Hold on. So then how do, you do, how do you go from that business to this circular pop? Situation. So you, you mix everything together and then you just want to heat it up. So you want everything to combine and heat. So like it's like a traditional candy making, yeah. you need the sugars to break down a little bit. But what I love about this is that you don't need a candy thermometer to get it to that rock hard stage. Basically, you just heat it up. When it boils a little bit, turn it off. And then you pour it into, oh, aren't these the cutest things? They're lollipop molds. Stop it. Right here. Oh, like they're, so they're just silicone. Cute. Even the control room molds. is commenting on this. So cute. <laughs> We get little lollipop sticks, you just stick them right in. And then what's so fun is that when it's still warm, you just take the syrup and you just spoon it right into the mold, just like that. And then the trick is I keep them in the freezer. Okay. So they freeze up and that way, like if you keep them cool, like if you don't do it properly, like they don't get rock hard, but they can be a little chewy. But basically if you keep them cool, whenever you need a little immunity boost, you just pop it out of the silicone mold. Here, I'll show you what I made a bunch earlier. And they just, it's kind of like magic how they just peel right up. You see that? Oh. Magic. It's so fun. What do you think? Yummy. Girls, what do you think? 
yummy. I and, feel super. Mm -hmm. And the other healthy. end doubles as a uh, pick for the pizza that that's takes... in my teeth still. <laughs> we have, we've been animals. We've been eating on this show, but we're washing down our pizza with something good and healthy. Mm -hmm. This is really good. Yeah. I know, and it's and it's if you're watching your sugar intake, this is a great thing for an alternate use of sugar. If you don't have honey, or if you want to make it vegan, you can also oh. um, replace it with agave syrup instead. Ah, oh. and Danny, I'm gonna steal that granola recipe from Marisol. I will hand it over. Okay. It's so delicious. It's ridiculously good. It is fantastic. Good. No, the people in my house protest if they're if on Sunday afternoon they don't see the mason jars with Danny Sayo's granola. They're like, what is happening? Something's so, wrong with mom. Yes, exactly. <laughs> All right, okay. You're definitely campaigning to go into business with me on this, Marisol. <laughs> I'm just saying, girl needs a side hustle. Love you. Mean it. Have a wonderful weekend. Have your elderberries. Stay warm. You at home, you can find this recipe on our website and also in the latest issue of Naturally, Danny Sale.